Welcome to another Wednesday's Word. In Mark 14, Jesus institutes the Lord's Supper. He's at the final meal before he goes to the cross. He's breaking the bread. He's pouring the cup. And he says, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Then he pours a cup and he says, this cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink of it in remembrance of me. Now this coming Sunday and once a month at Cascade Christian Reformed, we celebrate the Lord's Supper. And we do this, we used to do it a lot less frequently, but many churches do it every Sunday. We do it monthly to show that it's important. We don't want to take it for granted. But we also don't want to do it too rarely because it is a vital source of connection. In the Protestant church, there's an error many people have. We try to react against the Catholic church that believes that the bread and the cup actually become the body and blood. You might know the word transubstantiation, where the substance transforms into blood and flesh. And we don't believe that in the Protestant church. But people overreacted against that. And many people think it's just a reminder. That it's just like going through a family scrapbook, remembering good times. And so communion is a reminder of what Jesus did on the cross. But it's more than that. Jesus says, I am with you. In the Heidelberg Catechism, it says that what we do is we believe, we take with a believing heart that Jesus died on the cross, but it's more than that. That the Holy Spirit is in us, and the Holy Spirit is in Jesus and with Jesus. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, we are more and more connected to Jesus through the application of the sacrament of communion. In other words, it is communion. It's a union with God, with Christ. He is promising to be with us. And during times when we feel alone, during times when we are weak, during times when we need strength, communion somehow spiritually strengthens us in a way that we can't fully understand. But it's true because Jesus promised it, saying, I am with you always. So in communion, we look back. What did Jesus do on the cross? But in this moment, it's not just thinking back. Because there's been many times I've been alone Looking back on memories can only sometimes open bad memories where, where you miss that person. You wish they were around. So it's not like saying, man, I miss my friend. It's imagine going through that scrapbook. You're missing your friend. You're reliving those old times. And then that friend comes into the room and says, I'm with you. But it's more than that. It's also a promise that he'll come back. So you're missing your friend, you're going through those memories, your friend comes into the room and says, I'm here with you right now, and there's going to come a day when we'll never be separated again. That's a bit of a connection to and an allegory of what God is doing in communion. We remember what he did, and important, it's huge what he did on the cross. But he's right in the room with us, through the Holy Spirit, and he's coming back. And there'll be a day when there's no more tears. So prepare yourself for this coming Sunday. If you don't go to Cascade, hopefully you can celebrate communion at your own church sometime soon. God bless.